Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February 1st of 2022. Well, it is titled Moon Phases 2022. So what do we see here? Well, this is a number of images of the moon uh, that are taken and we will look through through them over the course of about five minutes. And this uses image taken by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and then animates it to show what the phases of the moon will look like over the course of the year. So let's go ahead and start the video. And as we watch what we will begin to see is the moon and as it starts the beginning of the year at a very uh, almost a new phase and then quickly becomes illuminated and you'll watch the moon go through its phases as the crescent begins on the right hand side and then moves across and then the darkness starts to sweep in again from the right as the moon moves around Earth. Now there's a lot of information there for you to see. So we can watch the moon at the center. But there are also a number of other things here that we want to look at as well. And up in the upper left hand side, we see the orbit of moon around Earth. And we can see that as it moves around that it's in an elliptical orbit. The gray shaded circle shows the extent of the orbit from its minimum down towards the lower uh, right hand side when it's closest to or too closer to the top when it is at its furthest from Earth. So the moon will change. And if you actually watch the size, the size of the moon will change getting a little bit larger as it gets closer to Earth and a little smaller as it gets further away. And as we're moving now into the start of April, uh, we see again the moon soon starting at a new at a new phase and then continuing on. A month is what we call a lunation, which is 29 and a half days. And that is where we get our month from. The month is determined by the cycles of the moon, which is about 29 and a half days. So we use that as a month, which typically has around 30 days, representing about one cycle of the moon. Now we also see other things here in the lower left hand side we can see how the moon's tilt changes over the course of the orbit and as it moves earth and sun earth and uh, earth moves around the sun. So we see that it will tilt from one side to the other over the course of that month as well and you notice that in the large image as well. Now, the line across the middle shows the Earth moon distance. So Earth on the left hand side spinning there. And then on the right hand side, you'll see a range with the numbers running from 28 to 32. Those represent the apparent size of the moon in sec minutes of arc. So minute of arc, there are 60 minutes in one degree. So the moon averages about half a degree in size. However, when it is at its closest, it's going to appear larger in the sky. And when it is at its furthest, it is going to appear smaller. And as we continue that we can see how that changes and we go further around as the moon moves around and goes further away and then comes closer again to Earth. Now in the lower right hand corner, we see uh, a number of a number of values there including the phase percentage, which will range up from uh, 100% and then go back down to zero and back up to 100 again, over the course of a month, we see its diameter in arc seconds. Now a minute an arc minute has 60 arc seconds and then a degree has 60 arc minutes in it. And we also have the size in the in the distance there. And that can that includes the uh, how far away it is from Earth, both in kilometers and in Earth diameters. We see the position, we see what the subsolar point, which is where on the moon, the sun would be directly overhead and the sub Earth point, which is where the Earth would appear directly overhead. So a number of different things that are visible there and all sorts of information for the moon over the course of the year. And now we're moving into mid October. And as we continue, we can then see the moon continues to go through the same set of phases.
Now a lot of the features are labeled there and you can see them as the moon becomes illuminated. And you'll note that the six Apollo landing sites are also noted. They are all on the near side of the moon which is facing Earth which allowed for communications between Earth and the Apollo astronauts. So they were not blocked by the moon. So we can see those six sites which are the six places where humans have to this point landed on the moon. And we see a lot of the other features uh, labeled as well, some of them just coming and going very quickly. Uh, many of the Maria and Highlands area lighter and darker areas that we see on the moon. And as we come towards the end of December of 2022, we then see that we're coming uh, back to a very beginning thin crescent as the moon begins or ends the year 2022 and starts 2023. Uh, we'll we'll continue up from that point. So that was our picture of the day for February 1st of 2022. It was titled Moon Phases 2022. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be to circle a dying star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class. <laughs>